Alright, so a while back I made a video on how to secure your crossfire antenna on the Larva X here, and I had put them out on these two legs of the arm over here, like this and this. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to that video. But I, well, uh -huh. I thought maybe there would be a better way, maybe have a, a smaller antenna, something not so wieldy, it kind of gets in the way of everything. And, well, I, I know there's some other videos out there on how to make, um, I think, like a, a smaller version of the dipole antenna here. Basically, this is, uh, what is this, quarter wavelength dipole. So you got the active element here, and then you have the ground element on this side. And for uh, FCC regions, I think the, the length of this active element is supposed to be about 80 two millimeters I believe and you can shorten it down to either I think this is a quarter uh, to one eighth or one sixteenth and then use the dipole and then you have like you know it's a smaller version of this but I thought well let's take this a step further and let's just get rid of the dipole completely and let's just um, make it a monopole and uh, so I thought well let's start off with one of these this is a free sky receiver antenna with the same uh, UFL connector and IPX connector there and this is tuned for 2.4 gigahertz and it's about 31 millimeters but I thought well instead of using um, like a monopole instead of using a quarter, uh, quarter wavelength we use a 1 8 wavelength which will be about 40 maybe about 41 millimeters so I'll see if you measure it about there then I just need to remove about this much of the ground covering here and then this should be much easier to mount in a micro obviously I'll, I'll plug it in here and I'll probably reroute the wire in here somewhere and have it come at the top like the uh, VTX antenna and then there's not going to be a whole bunch of wires and heat shrink and extra weight all over the place now if you don't want to do 1 8 uh, wavelength at 41 millimeters you could do 1 16th wavelength at 20 and a half millimeters if you want to do that. I may experiment with that. Maybe I have a lot of length there, so I'll experiment with one eighth first and then I'll do one sixteenth maybe in a future video. But anyway, these are super cheap. Um, I think they are about five bucks for about ten of these. And so I'll, link, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. I, feel, I have a feeling this is going to work just fine because you're not going to be able to fly very far on a battery with two minutes out to two minutes back. Um, so maximum range is not that important. It's more like, you know, how do we get an antenna on here that's going to give us pretty good range, but not going to get into the way of anything else and not add a lot of weight. So, um, let's see how this does. Alright, so that was a pretty easy installation. I got the antenna plugged in there where the old antenna was. And this is not a very good job. Uh, won't recommend mounting it like this. This is just for testing, so... I know that people still comment anyway that this mounting sucks. I know that. Just have the wire routed up through here and under the canopy around the camera. And I just held right there. And that active element length, the uh, active element length there is 41 millimeters. You just have to cut off that gray plastic sheath, and underneath that is a ground um, cover. You gotta take that off as well, and then that length right here is about 41 millimeters so let's see how far I can go on this um, I'm thinking kilometer should be plenty and I've obviously lost a little bit of weight obviously I do need to do a better job of mounting this I could probably put a zip tie through the canopy here and heat shrink this up here but I'm lazy and just want to test this real quick so let's go and see how this does All right, so kind of messed up today. I didn't bring my patch antenna. So I'm not sure how far this video will take us. 200 milliwatts. The RSI number in the lower right corner is LQ, not RSI. And I'm transmitting at 100 milliwatts. Yeah, I'm already getting video breakup. No 
lost in signal, so 99%. Turn around here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go too much further without my patch antenna. Uh, just blip there, 97%. This is about as far as I want to go in terms of my video. But if you're just flying micros, you know, not too far away, this is, I think, I should be totally doable. You're, you're going to be limited by your video more than your um, control link. Yeah, now I got my good, my good video back in. I really should have brought that patch in time. I could, I definitely could go further. Let's see if we go behind me here. Yeah. So this is about what I expected. I didn't think that this is going to be too much of an issue. I think where I went there was probably about 500, 600 meters away. But yeah, I, I'm more afraid of losing video because I didn't bring my patch to us, so. But I think this is a good enough test. It's good enough to know that you can uh, fly these at a fair, a fair distance without any real worry about your control link. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm actually thinking maybe doing the same mod to the transmitting antenna instead of using this big dipole here, turning into a monopole. Maybe do another test later. What do you guys think of that one? Let me know in the comments below.